Happy Halloween, alumni, and welcome back to Clarion University. This is Dr. Todd from the History Department welcoming you back to Founders Hall, where we have one of the most interesting ghost stories to tell. I'm often asked about what is the most unusual story related to our university with regard to ghosts, and it has to be the Kamikaze Pilot at Founders Hall. I'm often asked what does a Kamikaze Pilot have to do with Clarion University? Well, there once was a young man back in spring of 1945 serving on a battleship in the South Pacific frequently subjected to kamikaze raids. After one of these raids, he was cleaning up the various remains, and he actually obtained a rather unfortunate wartime souvenir, the charred skull of one of the kamikaze pilots. He returned to the United States, where he studied in school, and eventually became a professor of anthropology at Clarion State College. As a professor of anthropology, he decided to share the skull with his students and faculty alike. He wrapped it in gauze and decided to put it on display in a bookcase located here on the second floor landing of Founders Hall. The skull remained in this bookcase for the next 30 years. Eventually, when the building underwent renovation in 1991, all of the items from the bookcase were stored away. When the building reopened in 1998, all of the items were discovered, except for one which had gone missing, the kamikaze skull. Since then, students and faculty alike who have spent many evenings in this building have heard various thumps and thuds in the walls as though someone is searching for a long lost item. And if you listen closely to the audio tape captured by paranormal investigators, you may hear a ghost speaking Japanese, a saying that we often hear around campfire ghost tales. Where is my head? <laughs> 